You know, talking about uh, this, the way that the left is just trying to strangle all speech so only its narrative survives. I'm not kidding about Karl Marx. He was a flagrant racist. You remember we played this clip? Play the clip of this is the co-founder of Black Lives Matter, Patrice Coulor. Play that. We actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. Um, we are uh, super uh, versed um, on sort of ideological theories. So this is a Marxist who founded Black Lives Matter. They're pulling down in Wisconsin uh, last night. They pulled down the statue of an abolitionist. They pulled down the statue of uh, Ulysses S. Grant, who was a great supporter of black freedom. Of course, he destroyed the South in the Civil War, and he helped destroy the Ku Klux Klan in his first iteration. Here's what Marx wrote about a a rival, a rival socialist. He wrote, it is now completely clear to me that he, as is proved by his cranial formation and his hair, descends from the Negroes who had joined Moses's exodus from uh, Egypt. He hated the Jews as well, even though he was a Jew, assuming that his mother or grandmother on the paternal side had not interbred with an N-word. Now this union of Ju Judaism and Germanism with a basic Negro substance must produce a peculiar product. His co-author, uh, Engels, who wrote the uh, the Communist Manifesto with him, uh, he said of somebody, he was arguing with somebody, and he said, being in his quality as an N-word, a degree nearer to the rest of the animal kingdom. So anything they find, if they find one of the founders who helped them get the freedom they have, like George Washington, but they find he was, like all of us, a sinful man, and he was, like all of us, that's a problem. But Karl Marx, they love him. Because why? Because this is not a movement for black people. Now, the thing is, the thing is, social media has has actually been a bad thing for information. You would think that the internet and social media would make us more informed, but it's made us less informed. Why? One of the reasons is it encourages stories over the truth, especially when it has been curated and edited and censored by one side, and that's what's happening. And so we have to learn how to protect our minds, and we also have to go after these people by any legal means. We really have to destroy their social media monopoly. Let us talk about this just a little bit more. One, one of the things, I mean, social media, you know, I, I hardly go on. I'm going to go on this thing, Parler, I think it's called, P-A-R-L-E-R, -E because it's a new one that is letting people speak freely. It's not like Twitter, which is censoring people. I think Trump should just move over there and take all and say all my followers should come with me. So it take, I don't know how many millions of people he has following him, but he should take all those people over. But also, this has got to, there's got to be a legal remedy for this. I'm, I am sorry. I cannot believe, I cannot believe the conservatives are twiddling their thumbs. So what does it do? Social media encourages the mob mentality. Why? Because the people who go on social media to share pictures of their kids are shouted down by the bad guys. And the bad guys are not, you know, contained. And when they are contained, they are contained only by the biased left. They are, the bad guys are contained by the biased left. So if you're if you have are a bigot, if you're a radical, if you're violent on the left, that's justice. You can go on the left and tell people to kill cops and they will not do a damn thing about it on social media. But if you are a bigot and a radical and violent on the right, you're gone. Or if they can even pretend you are, which is really what they're doing. But the most important thing that social media has done is it emphasizes narrative over data and truth. It emphasizes story over facts, which is is the entire left agenda. That is the left agenda because it's all about power, it's all about control, it's all about taking away from the ordinary person his uh, agency, it, all, all the way about taking away your right to associate with whom you want, to hate whom you want, to be a bigot, you want to be a bigot, I think you're a jerk, but go ahead, you're free to do that. That is the left wing. They think that they are going to make paradise by squeezing you into their little paradise idea, their little tiny paradise idea, instead of letting human beings be human with all their flaws. Everything is tickety-boo, including the massive growth of the Daily Wire YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and catch all our future videos right here on YouTube.